Welcome to Season 2 of Gaming with Scott Presents Marvel Super Heroes, a Southgate Media Podcast. Join us each week as our intrepid heroes follow a path of adventure and attempt to save the world and each other from the dangers of the universe. Starring Martin Davis, Josh Elliott, Dan Gentry, Josh Jackson, and Rico Suarez, with me, Scott Troiano, running the table as the judge. Galactic adventure and titanic struggles await you just beyond this music. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming with Scott. I'm here with Josh Elliott. Dr. Wells coming at you. Rico Suarez. Yo. Daniel Gentry. Hey, y'all. Thank you for backing up. (laughs) Martin Davis. Fighting for a better tomorrow. And Joshua Jackson. Still need to find that party. Which party? That I missed. Looking for it last session. Never found it. Oh, yeah, there's that. Well, (laughs) that's all right. It's a good thing. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. uh, Okay. Gentlemen, let me ask you, uh, where were we when we last left? In a sphere with a thing in a box? I I knew Dan would know the answer to that right away. (laughs) All right. What do you mean, sphere with a thing in a box? We, We had escaped the planet. Uh, Which planet? Uh, Kalon planet. The Kalon planet. Uh, Kalon planet. Uh, Rico's got this. Been mysteriously uh, exploded. Before it went Death Star. Mysteriously. Before it went Death Star. Mysteriously. Went Death Star. mysteriously. mysteriously. They set the, the self-destruct sequence themselves. I don't know what happened. Oops, broke it. Okay. But uh, And then the Arkanoids <laughs> picked us up, and we negotiated sure. a release from uh, our servitude. Okay. And, and they're, he's taking us back to Earth. Excellent. And we're all in a little bitty sphere. Okay. So what do you do? Arcanide sphere. Yeah. Shotgun. And I... Ah, what happened with you? Can't remember if the Arkanoid vessel had landed on Earth yet or not. Negative. No, it, le- it, le- no, uh, it didn't need to. It put you down. Like a, like a dog or put me on the ground? Ground. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have... Just disembarked. As yes. It were, Say, if it was another suborbital strike, I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon. You know, Too you, soon. You, you save like 50 billion lives, no one cares. You, one orbital strike, and. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much how it one works. One mass genocide. <laughs> it's, it's everybody, like, everybody gets uh, puts a stigma on you. It's, BS. it's, it's, it's politics, man. <laughs> Lame. Fun. What have you <laughs> What is. have you done for us lately? Oh. Yeah, that's exactly. Wow, how it is. that's exactly how it is. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, so what are you going to do on the ship? Uh, I'm going to try to Enjoy figure out the, the ride, the code to my thinger with my with the the, the box with the badge in it with the code. I'm going to try to figure that out. <laughs> okay, he's over there pounding on buttons. Rico, what are you doing? I'm going to find out where we're going, <clears throat> and. Furthermore, for them saving all of the people on that planet, what do they want and where are they going to deposit them? Who is their daddy and what do they do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Okay. Who are you going to ask? The pilot that's piloting this craft. Okay. That prevented me from jumping out of the craft. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was that. Yeah. (laughs) And Arkanoid, obviously. I'm going to speak in Arkanoid. Okay, what are you going to ask him? What are you going to do with all the survivors of the planet? Where are you going to take them? They will be repopulated. Where? Why does it matter? Is it someplace safe? Where would you like them put? That's a good question. I'd say Earth. I'd say Krypton. Krypton doesn't exist anymore. Wow. Wherever the Kryptonians were. (laughs) Um, We can take them in as refugees. It'd be all right. Then we will take them to Earth. No. I'm going to need to see a star chart of the system that we're in. Okay. And he pulls up. Um, You are here. And you're like right over here. And Earth is like way over here. Right, right. A a chart of the system that we're currently in. Oh, okay. It it has to be mapped. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this... this You're You're right on the edge of Kalon space. There's six planets in the system. Um... The planet that we were just on um, was was it was there oxygen in the atmosphere? We were breathing something. Yes. Okay, so these people breathe oxygen. Um, are there any habitable planets in this system not being used as 
batteries for the Kalons? No. Why? Can, so can, we're going to have to find a different system? Can they just be yeah. sent home? What is the closest? I mean, yeah. they're being collected from all over the galaxy? Not universe? all of them. Those without powers were native to that planet. Okay. That blew up. Thanks for What's that. the closest inhabitable planet for these people? Do we ask that? Or an I don't know, Ark? And well, or it's, it's, this is Kalon Space. We're going to have to leave Kalon Space. Are there any habitable planets not being used in Arkanoid Empire Space? We're about a parsec and a half. Uh, and he uses the term parsec. You can hear he's like parsec because he was like distance. Blah, 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 parsec. Oh, wait. Um, and a half from the edge of Kalon space. And you want to know if we find what? Is there any habitable planets with an oxygenated atmosphere that these people could survive on? That it's not an Arcanoid space. That is an Arcanoid space. Um, there are a couple. That's where I would like to take them. Um, you would, of course, need to negotiate trade for their resettlement, either through the Empire or from your own world. Refugees. I mean, there may be a number of them that have working knowledge of the Kalon battery system that they would be willing to give you insight on for safe refuge. That's banned technology in the Arcanite Empire. Oh. Good shot. It was a shot. Yeah. Besides, so you're not asking yourself whether or not these, these are the poison peanuts, you know, the, the, the poison peanuts in the, mm-hmm. in the bag of refugees, right? That's oh, all. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, I'll keep thinking of something else. Okay. And then, um, is Morat still on your shoulder? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Morat, we need to have a conversation. What about? Um, well. And he answers you in English. Oh. Okay. Not in Arcanide. <laughs> he does not like these guys. How many planets were in your system? 18. Are any of them large enough to be habitated by these refugees? Yes, but they can't go there. The people or the Arkanoids? The people. Why? My kind will not stand their presence on <laughs> our planets. <laughs> we're we're somewhat xenophobic. Right. Somewhat. <laughs> racist, <laughs> racist lizards. I mean, there are there's three factions. Race lizards. What they if we put them on the same planet, ain't they just gonna fight again? Habitable planets outside of Arkanoid space, outside of Kalon uh, space, <laughs> anything. If if we find somewhere at least quasi suitable, I can set something up for them to live off of. Do we want to risk taking them back to Earth? In we a- could take the humans back. They were human, at least humanoid. Or humanoid. Yeah. And there were several. I humanoid. have a contact that may know somebody that may be able to help. They can stay with nice. the Morlocks. Back back on Earth. Okay. Aren't there some of the people that did the whole like portal in the sky, blowing stuff yeah. up thing in New Could York? Could ask Doctor Strange. No, oh, that's not in who I'm going to ask. No, I'm saying Ike. No, that's not who I'm going to He's going to require too much. What? That is true. No, I'm talking about uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, can you take us all back to Earth? We could. It's going to be a long trip. Okay. How long is a long trip? Um, possibly a cycle. Okay. Uh, right. Standard Arkanoid cycle? Yes. Oh, that's not too bad. How long is that? Yeah. So 28 Earth hours. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's a long trip. Just need a pillow. Good to go. Yep. Well, it's okay. going to be boring oh, going I, through space. That's fine. Um, a little bit of boring how big is the fleet that came to this Kalon planet? How, how many ships are in this fleet right now? In this fleet? Yeah. Um, I was sent in as a scout ship, and there are two others. So who picked up all of the native peoples? Um, we hold about a quarter of them. The rest of them are split between the other two vessels. Okay. We have a little less than a quarter of them. How many? How many what? You said a quarter of what number? The, the refugees. Yeah, like what? What's the number? 
It was. I think it was. What is small. he saying? Oh, he wanted to know the the number the number, the number? of 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 people that you had down to the head. Remind well, me right. the storyteller. What do we? What was he? It was a hundred thousand people. Yeah, it was. He's yeah. he's okay. like a hundred and hundred and four thousand. Can I get a roll to see if he's lying? Sure. Do you understand what he's language? saying? Do you speak conversational Arkanoid? I thought he went to English. Still an Arkanoid? No, oh, still an Arkanoid. No, I have no idea what's going no, on. These, right, these refugees are just regular people, right? Some of they them. are non-powered people. But if we can get them back to Earth, then I can contact Archangel. We that's, can talk that's to That's a Professor you call. X. He's friends with... Um, who gave him Cerebra? He built Cerebra. Yeah. Who? Who? No, by himself he didn't. Well... Uh, I think Moir- Moira McTaggart helped. What's yeah. the race of those people? Moira McTaggart? She's human. No. Oh, the you Shi'ar? Mean, you mean the Shi'ar? That's them. Yeah. Yeah. They help they help with the Blackbird. They they may be they room. may be yeah. able to assist the with the relocation room, yeah. of these people. Plus there are the Morlock tunnels that can be rebuilt. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like yeah. I can house and feed all of these people. It's We're just whether or not we want to bring them home. Yeah. I'm fine if they are depowered people. I'm fine. Well, here's another issue I have. If I don't want to go to another inhabited system or livable system that the Arkanoids haven't already been to because I don't want it to be conquered. Right. Well, they already uh, own us, right? So I'll just Right, but home. they don't need to be part of the reintroducing them to someplace else. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But can Rico test if he's lying? Can anyone test if he's lying? Because we're just taking now, his, his what was word. it? What was it you were saying? Because I missed that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just saying that uh, I would argue that even if he doesn't understand the language, uh, lying is as much tone and body language as anything else. So maybe, mm. maybe yeah, his can you, intuition. Can you read the body language of a robotic mech suit? Hey, I'm, I'm just, just saying. Asking, Mike. I'm I w- saying. I was just asking. asking. I didn't know the somebody context. might want to try. Just saying. Well, the last Arkanoid scout that we saw was in a robotic mech suit. Yeah, this guy is too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it wouldn't be a difficult role. This is this yeah, is yeah. the same guy. What? The what? same? The same. Oh. Oh. We know brother? this guy. Oh, we do. Oh yeah. We know this guy. Oh, we do. I like this guy. This guy's all right. <laughs> yeah. And you you helped save his life. Yeah. You Actually, helped save yeah. this guy's life. Yeah, we did. Oh. <laughs> you Hold sound back the enthusiasm. enthusiastic. I'm not an Arcanide fan. I'm not a fan of the Arcanides. All right. Don't okay. hate the player, hate the game. What? what would you like us to do for the cycle while we're traveling? Do you have assistance that you need? No, we're we're fine. We'll just be traveling. No, oh, okay. Would you like this call button back, or should I continue no. holding on to it as long as we're in the Empire? Yeah, you can keep that. Excellent. You're a, you're an upstanding member of the Empire. Do you have any um, vegetation on board? Live vegetation? No. Okay. How well do you know Kalon technology, if at all? Hmm. Again, that technology is banned in the Empire. Do you, know do you have ways to disrupt it <laughs> um, or 42. destroy it if it's banned? Do you have a disposal system? Uh, we do. It uh, is... Superman eats it. <laughs> it uh, the translation would be... Um, do you know how, oh, you're F- looking for the... FSR. It's a forced singularity respondence. Uh, we basically drop a couple of pieces of, you would call it antimatter, and then just destroy an entire system. Yeah. Or I can eat it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm. Jimmy here has an issue with a lock that we can't get open because we don't understand. The lock is attached Bite to a it. box. Yeah, uh, Wait, he they... has Kalon technology on him? I hold up the box. Well, I can't he has a lock mm-hmm. from a box that possesses something of his. Fenris. That he needs out of the box. Fenris, you could bite through it. I could try. It's if by technology you mean a lock, then yes, technology. We will eject it from the ship. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I don't yeah. know what that he, means. He no. needs what's in the box. Then you can have the box. Does he not need the box? He, no, he needs what's inside the box. Not the box itself. Tell him to set the box down. He says to set the box down. He says to set the box down, Jimmy. Wh- why? Because he's going to get what's yours out of the box for you. Is, is that what he was saying? Yep. 
Are you going to get what's out of the box? What's in the box? <laughs> in the box. All right, but if, if he, I'll be mad if it. Right, I understand. He ejects it from the ship. <laughs> and he tells you, I'm going to destroy the box. <gasps> Just the box? Not what's inside the box? Wh- whatever. I don't, <laughs> what's the difference? I don't think he cares. Well, he has a personal effect inside the box that he needs. I want to see what happens. Hold on. <laughs> he doesn't want the contents of the box destroyed. Just the box and the lock. What's in the box? Fam- what's in uh, the box? A, <laughs> what, what's fam- in the box? What's Your badge? Box? Yeah, my badge. His badge. He has a badge that he wears on his vest. He wants or his, his, his wife's head. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is a? Uh, I don't know. A badge of what? Um, um, a symbol of authority from his part of Earth. Oh. It's a badge of honor. Uh, family crest? Is it? Is it not replaceable? It, it's not our. It, it's not Kalon. No, know, it's not Kalon. It's, oh, it's one. Tell him to put it down. That's fine. Yeah. The okay. effects will. Be He's. It's fine. I already put it down. Okay. Yeah. That works. All right. The mech suit Shit. comes up, targeting lasers from three different spots. Focus on the box and three. Oh. Telekinetic bubble around us in case there is ricochet from the laser. Okay. Oh, that's love. That is love. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Um, and three beams wash over this box, and it is just disintegrated. The badge inside, ting ting ting, onto, Holy the, crap. onto the deck. Snack it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Do me a favor and hold on to your thing, because those are still reverberating. Oh. There we go. A little better. All right. So Jimmy reaches out and almost um give me your intuition roll now. Sixty one. I'm sorry, I can't hear a word you're saying. Sixty one on a fifty. Alrighty. Is that at least a green? Yes. It's a yellow. It's a yellow. It is. It's uh, yellow. You can tell that Jimmy is a little, I mean, tweaked out. Like the badge goes to ding, and he's like, "My brush." I mean, it's just like it's, it's a thing for Jimmy. And he Power. picks it up, slaps it on his chest. Power object fixation. <laughs> you okay? You okay? He takes a big breath. Oh, that's so much better. You okay, Jimmy? Did that thing give you the fix you're looking for. What's <sighs> what's up? Sits there, strokes it. <laughs> <sighs> I, I reckon. Complete. I reckon that's what you needed. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. I feel like myself again. That's interesting. And surprisingly, you do. You can you can see Jimmy's entire demeanor from the time you got were down on the planet, and he seemed a little twitchy. He seemed a little like yeah, tweaky, and yeah, and yeah. He seemed a little like Tweak from South Park. You know yeah. that. Has wave of calm. Yes. Aura oh. that has passed yes. over him. Jimmy just feels <laughs> be- like, and it's a nice, I mean, it's a United States Marshal, like we are authorita, and he mm. just. Polished as all hell. It looks, <laughs> yeah, it's shiny, and it just fits. What's he polish it with? I don't know. It, Wax? It put, <laughs> cloth. It's put, it puts the lotion sure. on the badge, or yeah. it gets the hose. Yeah. So, okay, that's all good. Do he? Do I have my powers back? Oh, yeah. Don't say it as loud. Okay, but yeah, yeah. They're they're they'll come up over the next hour. Okay, and you'll be much happier. Yeah, he's uh, Marty. You you felt that relief. So anyhow, yeah. <laughs> all righty. Is the Arkanoid Empire familiar with the Kryptonian race? Yes. How about the Asgardians? Have they been? More active than usual lately? Not as such. Okay. The Kryptonian race thought they would meddle in the Empire. (laughs) Therefore, we destroyed their (laughs) homeworld. You guys did that. Yes. Nice work. Wait, wait, I can't can't say that. (laughs) You're you're not talking. No, I'm not talking to you. Sorry. Please uh, tell me this so I can send them a thank you card. God, I know. Christmas list. (laughs) Yes, we destroyed destroyed their home. Bunch of jokes. They're still alive out there. Mm, There will always be survivors. 
Can't kill all the roaches. What? What? Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> all righty. So the mech sets back into the chair that's in the middle of the sphere and continues to fly. Uh, everybody gives me, yeah, the four of you, give me an intuition roll. The four? One, two, three, four. Oh. If you're on the Arkanoid vessel, give me an intuition roll. I, do you want number or color? Color. Yellow. Couldn't hear you. Got a 90, red. Nice. I have a intuition of two while not gestalted. I rolled a 96. That's a yellow. Nice. Boom. I rolled a 63, and that is a green. Almost yellow. Almost yellow. All Almost. Right. I've been doing this a little bit longer than you have with lower <laughs> stats. <laughs> okay. Damn. Damn. Um, <laughs> all of you, uh, <laughs> the lower stats thing, nice. <laughs> um, the three of you, Josh, Rico, and Marty, you fought this shit before. There's no space for what's a what's a quarter of a hundred thousand people? Twenty five thousand people. Yeah, that's not gonna they're gonna fit on here. So he's lying. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I can just we, make the ship bigger. I saw it was a sphere, right? Yeah, I saw the size of it. Yep. Is it bigger on the inside? No. <laughs> Is there a police box in here? Like no. Oof. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, this ship's only so big, right? Yeah, it's about this big. Then he said there's people here. Twenty five thousand. Where are they? Well, he said this was a scout vessel. He's a scout. Right, but he said they were in the vessel. He or said, no, I don't know that. He said a quarter were here, right? How are they here? Where are they? Can, can you? Well, can, can he understand? How he do you fit a hundred and four thousand people on scout ships? We don't. The two main vessels hold the bulk of them. Okay. I was curious because you said you had a quarter of them here. Well, will oh. they transport? Will they transport? Those have been patterned. Patterned? Yes. Meaning they're, they're stored in the memory banks of the computer. You turned them into data. Yes. <laughs> His storage capacity. Um, Can they be They turn the survivors into data. The guy from Star Trek? No. Um, bits of code Boom. in a computer system. Can they be reconstituted? Oh. So, well, like I'm in the pattern, they can be reconstituted. Like bullion? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. How do you unzip a quarter of a million people from data? To make them people reconstitute. It seems like fairly normal technology to them, I guess. He's just, we reconstitute them. Huh. Just add, you know, just add water. Just duh. Just and duh. they retain all of their personality and oh, yes. what about their for, memory. And for them, time has stopped. What about their soul? So it's a cryostasis of sorts? I'm taking it you're relaying this to them. I hope yeah. So. Okay. Talking to <laughs> Thank so, you. So basically, Thank you for they are that. destroying the survivors, turning them into data, and then at a later date, they're going to create no, 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 a new man. body. It's like that episode. That it's like that episode where that doctor was in that library, and all of the survivors were stored in the little girl's head. You know what I'm talking about? I was thinking about Transcendence, the movie. I didn't have TV growing up. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. We used to watch that down. Uh, Heard down about the, it. Kind of great. The hollows of uh, the Morlocks. Transcendence. <coughs> we got all the best TVs. Well, the condition <laughs> was for them to be returned safely and unharmed. So, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna take their word for it that that's how they'll be returned. That's right. That is impressive technology. Absolutely. Who did you guys take that from? Or who who gifted it to you? <laughs> Assuming that you're just or did you make it? <laughs> Actually, that was Arcanoid technology. That's Arcanoid original technology. Correct. That is impressive technology. Actually, it's mainly used for storage. Obviously. What is the data capacity on a scout ship? Not particularly large. That's why you only have a quarter of the people. Correct. Wow. Earth could benefit from technology like that. 
Agreed. All it takes is a little piece of your soul. I mean, a little piece of your hair and a little piece of your shirt. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. You can have my soul, whatever that is. What, what is my, my soul? Do you speak of? <laughs> right. The city. Yeah. Your studied Greek. Not sure. <laughs> uh, how far do the sensors go on a scout ship? Approximately 10 parsecs. I need you to scan for somebody that has a physiological makeup similar to mine. Why? Because I don't believe he was on the planet with us, and I'm curious to see if he escaped the negative zone. Certainly. Beep, beep. No, nah, negative. Not not within 10, ten parsecs of us? No. How many parsecs away is there? One. Jesus. Right? Something like that. No, not one. What was the question? How many how many parsecs away is Earth? How many parsecs is Earth away from us? Um, three hundred and ninety-eight. Oh, okay. three hundred and ninety-eight parsecs away f- from where we are now to Earth, Is give or take. Just want to continuously scan. Yep. <coughs> if he's willing. Uh, how much power would it take to continuously scan for a signature similar to mine on our trip back to Earth? Minimal. Can we keep that up? Sure. I see no reason why not to do that. I'm looking for Dr. Wells. He's also made out of dark force energy at the moment. Interesting. He's very amenable. It's not like he was last time. Yeah, I just told him that's why the pattern is physiological similar to mine. I'm sure they've scanned me at least what a billion times since they've met me. Yeah. What? What do I know about him? What do you know about, about him? About Dr. Wells? You don't. Okay. You know nothing. Yeah. You, know, you, hear, you hear him say, we're looking for Dr. Wells. I didn't know if he'd been in the news. Um, no. A little, yeah. Uh-huh. Because I that's how I saw him. Oh yeah. At the very beginning of the story, I was I was on the news for terrorism. Yeah. Yeah. Terrorism. Um, give me an into uh, Give me a r- reason role there, Dan. Okay. White. <laughs> All right. You can recall nothing. Um. No. Okay. You're like nope. So who's who's this? you were down in Texas? He was up in Indiana. Meh. Right. He's not an escape he's fugitive. A, he's just a beautiful figure skater. <laughs> Doctor Wells <laughs> is um, another member of our unit. Pull a Kerrigan. Um, our team, as it were. And <laughs> I didn't see him when we lost the negative zone, or when we left the negative zone. What's a negative oh. zone? Is that where people are just upset? And uh, that's the that is where <laughs> you could the that. Um, Kryptonians put their prisoners. It's a firing range for uh, this land-based thing. The thing. Dread? Yeah. yeah he got, got his. Giant firing yeah. range. Fifth Circle of Hell? You guys have a really interesting life. Oh, it's definitely something. I was built for war. <laughs> I was built for comfort. No, literally, I was built to be war. So, lends itself to it. I you guess. were built to be a conflict? No, horsemen. You were built to ride horses. No, you don't know, you've never heard of the Four Horsemen. No. Is that like a John I mean, Wayne movie? Yeah, from what the you Bible. Mean? What are you talking yeah, about? from the Bible. Oh. Death, pestilence, famine, and right. war. No. So somebody was trying to artificially create the apocalypse? How was the well, resource supply on the Arkanoid Wait, home planet? Okay. So the apocalypse is uh, uh, there's a uh, an apocalypse. The apocalypse. I'm not following here. You just start from the beginning. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use molecular conversion and convert air into a simulacra of what Apocalypse looks like. Next to him. Um, Human-sized? Normal Apocalypse size, not right. giant Apocalypse right. size. So, yeah, normal. Right. He yes, it correct. might not fit. Correct. No, no, no. He'll fit. No, he'll fit. Okay. Uh, as long as, a, as if I don't get crazy with it, he'll be good. Give me a roll on your molecular conversion. You're converting the air in the ship? Uh, just, just uh, you know, useless gases. Just extraneous okay. gases. Okay. What's your power rank? <laughs> Not, it's, no, this isn't good, is what I'm saying. That, that was a bad roll. Um, I was going to look it up on my app. It's a white. Okay. Um... So a mannequin-ish appears in sort of purplish armor with like, you know, then it, it you can't make it. It's a guy and he's got some stuff on it. Like 
Is somebody hit him in the face with a shovel? Is that why he's in Apocalypse? Is he really mad about it? <laughs> no, I, no. This is just my. This is just how I look at him. But uh, no, uh, Apocalypse is a person. He he's you know trying to uh, create the Four Horsemen to take over the world. So he's the so, devil. Yeah, kinda. He's pretty much gonna die when I see him. That's all I'm saying. So you're gonna kill the devil? Yep. You want help? Yeah. I don't think I'm. I don't. I don't have anything scheduled. All right. <laughs> So a real guy. He's a real dude. Yeah, he's a real piece of... Yeah. So, sorry, I had to... No, that's fine. You guys keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to go meditate for a second. Okay. All right. I'm going to go to my thought space. His meditation chamber. Okay. That I have... Your mind palace? Yeah. All right. With a... With a... Yang, right? I have Yang. You've got Yin. I've got Yang. If I remember correctly, I have the mother. Yes. Yin is yes. Yin, yin is female. Yang is. Oh, is it Yin? Oh, I, okay. I've got Yin. Okay. Correct. Yin, you should have Yang. All right. Correct. So Yang is life. So he kind of goes off into his own corner of the sphere. Did um. It's a cubic sphere. He'll, it's he'll a cubic sphere. It has four I quadrants to it. Are you blind? Hate you. you blind? <laughs> <laughs> and he sits down and does a thing. Wells. You're on the balcony. Um, I'm still gestalted, and yeah. obviously I have touch foot planet side, so my first action would be to go into cosmic awareness. All right. Now, you do remember last time there was the helicopter and the parking garage? Stephen Nichols? Shield, Can you refresh shield, my memory? Shield was there. What did they want? There I was a bit remember. of a run and gun, and you decided you were going to leave. They were trying to kill us. No. They fired. No, him. Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys haven't heard that episode yet. <gasps> I'm sorry. I don't remember S.H.I.E.L.D. trying to kill me, but... No, S.H.I.E.L.D. was trying to help you, and then they started attacking the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Who's they? Uh, You hadn't figured that out. Okay. Completely. Okay. Okay. And then you went back to your to your hotel room or to your uh penthouse. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, no, with the police cuz I was yes. in the field. Yes. But I, that was from the missiles. No, that was afterwards. After you got back. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Well, it's obviously could be, you know, the Dr. Wells literally doesn't have this on his mind at this point. I mean, he's Perfectly kind of singular fine. focus at this okay, point. Okay, where are you going? What are you doing? What do you got? Like I said, cosmic uh, awareness. Yeah. What are you looking for? My laptop. Your laptop. Oh. Where, where is what it? an abuse of cosmic awareness! Hmm. I need to find my laptop. Let's just tap into the knowledge of the entire universe. You're crazy. Priority homes. You know they got an app for that. <laughs> they literally they do. Also, keep in mind the rank that you have in cosmic awareness determines the uses you can use per session before you go crazy. Well, how, what's your rank in the uh, the old cosmic awareness? Um, the old CA, as they call it. Let me have one of them sheets. Why, thank you, sir. Okay, it's ten ungestalted. All righty. So gestalted, it's like what twenty? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. We never established all this stuff. I understand that. Okay. All right. Good luck. Don't yeah. go nuts. Trying. Trying. That's all I'm saying is don't go crazy. Fifty. All right. Fifty on a ten. That's a green. Yeah, it is. I'm gestalted. Woohoo! It shouldn't be ten. All righty. I said I, I've, I've right. got you a twenty. I've got you an it's excellent. A, and a twenty. Yeah. Okay. That's a green. All right. It's in the next room. Well, then I'm entering the next room. Okay. You're you're given a flood. All of the good and evil runs. It. Oh, it's right over there. You're like <laughs> all of the known power of the. It's right. It. If you look through that sliding glass door, it's on the end table. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. If I had a Mac, I'd have just <laughs> located yes. it. Yes. It's okay. Well, keeping in mind, I don't know if Lex Luthor has hidden it in the volcano cave or some <laughs> shit, people. I have no idea. You need to watch your mouth, sir. It's all good. No. It's As all right. I tell my kids, have you tried moving anything? 
Did you lift up the pillow? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Welcome back, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> go go find you your hear, laptop. Wait, wait, Everybody's sh- a critic. Can you hear it? Is anyway, it saying hey, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I I just wanted to jump in and kick and kick while I was <laughs> kick <laughs> while, I, while I was not the one getting kicked. I, I really have nothing personally invested. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy you it, found it. it they shows, want me to become a villain. It shows that they love you. It, it really, they wouldn't make fun of you if they didn't, if they didn't love you. So nah. there it is. <laughs> they want me to be a villain. They want you to be a villain. That's <laughs> what it is. Hoosiers. I'm happy you found it. Hoosiers, all of them. Hoosiers. No. Hoosier. Hey. So, all right. So you go in. Excellent. You have the laptop. There's no. There's nobody in there. Well, you you open the sliding glass door. You step in. No. Okay. I would like to examine the laptop. Okay. Seem, see see seems, if it's been tampered with. Seems very laptoppy. No, no. I mean, run scans on it and everything. Okay. How are you going to run scans on it? What do you mean? How am I going? I'm Doctor Wells. I, yes. I've got sciencey skills and okay. coding skills out the butt. All right. You open it up. Password screen. You try your usual password or or three or four or six. It's locked. Seems to be encrypted. Seems to be more encrypted than when you had just the normal house encryption on it. You look around and you see there's a gentleman standing on the far side by the lap pool. On the far side of the living room area. I'll approach the man. He is in. He is in full butler regalia. Oh, hey, what's it is that? not Ferguson. It is not. It is not Ferguson. You would be Doctor Wells ish. Yes, and you are Robert. The pony is Do you have a last name, Robert? No, Robert is fine. Robert is fine. That's a weird last name. Robert is fine. It is, isn't it? Do you encrypt this laptop, Robert? No. Do you know who did? Yes. Who did? Someone else. Oh, Robert. Oh, mister. Uh, Wells. <laughs> uh, do you know the password? Mm, maybe. Would radiation clear up your memory? Maybe. <laughs> okay, then. Well. Okay. Pulling the punch. Say that I'd into like the mic. Karma. Pulling the punch. I would like to spend karma. Oh, very nice. Okay. I rolled a 94. Okay. Uh, you are pulling the punch, not trying to kill him, right? Right. Okay. Just put the quote unquote fear of God into him. How much damage do you want to do? And in what fashion are you? I mean, full on Goku Mega Blast? Or are you just like tiny little finger of. Are you going to carve your name in his head? Are you. <laughs> what, what do you want to do here? Make it so he can't have kids. Oh. Well, no, but that's a good idea. What I'm going to do is the little finger, and I want to be surgical about it. And I'm going to go for the inner thighs. <gasps> his junk? No, not his junk. Ow. This, it's a sensitive area of skin. It magnifies oh. pain. Oh, most definitely. So. All right. You hit him and he's... Ah, sir. The trousers. Got hurt. And through the pain, did you stumble across the password? Maybe. Ooh. We're going to do this again. No, we're not going to do this again. Relax. Sheesh. <laughs> time. I don't have it. Why? What do you need? Give me... Time? The password. Okay. And he just stares I at I glow. You. I know I can make my eyes glow. Oh, yeah. And he's like... <clears throat> Have you thought of anger management, sir? Oh, my God. Hit him again. Okay. 
How much damage are you doing? That's a bad idea. Same thing as before. Jack it up by 10%. Okay. Give me a roll. I would like to spend karma. That's 20 now. All right. I got a 64. Yeah, that's... Okay, you hit him again, and he's... Yow! Stop it! Then give me the password. Maybe. (laughs) You seem nice. Which body part do you want to lose first? My left ear. I like Van Gogh. Okay. I would like to spend karma. (laughs) Okay. Oh, it's on the floor. I don't know where it went. I didn't see it. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Yo, that's my good gray and red dice. Yeah, you're going to have to find that. <laughs> yeah, they were just like, well, it'll be down there somewhere. That is a 67. Okay. Are you going to sear his ear entirely off? I'm just going to try to burn his ear lobe. Okay, you can burn it. You can cut the whole thing off if you want. Or you can just smoke his whole entire ear. Cut it. What do you want to do? Don't slippery slope him. I will cost him the very tip of the earlobe, but otherwise leave it intact. Just the tip. Okay. And he's like, but I'm going to maintain it. It's very Jewish. Okay. Pass. And he's, ah. Word! Ah, and as you maintain it, he's just... Ah, uh, <laughs> he's, he can't speak while you maintain it. Okay. He's like... Ah, and drop. Okay, and he drops to his knees and he goes... Ow. Whoa! They didn't tell me torture would be in this, but okay. Oh. And he struggles back to his feet after a couple of seconds and... Seems to try to compose himself and pulls the front of his butler outfit down and he goes, oh, all right. They must be paying you an exorbitant amount of money. Oh, yeah. Thought so. You betcha. Is it enough for you to uh, value your manhood next? Well, I figure if you do that again, I'm just going to rush you. Okay. Or you could give me the password. Maybe. Or you could take a beating. It's okay. You know, one or the other. Armor. You can take him. <laughs> you, you got this. You can take him. You're about to get rocked. It's Scott. <laughs> what are you doing? That's successful on the armor. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, your armor's up. You're about to get wrecked by an 80 year old man. Well, he's not 80 years old. He's m- like mid-30s. No. Like early 40s. I didn't, know, I didn't know Ferguson was that young. It's not Ferguson. Oh. It's another dude. Oh, okay. It's Robert. Well, never mind. Good job paying attention. Oh. Oh, so, okay. I'm going to crack my knuckles. <sighs> I'd rather do this through diplomacy because... Ooh, let's diplom then. Try that once. That would be good. All right, password. How do we move the maybe to a yes? We don't. That's not... And that concludes our diplomacy. Well, that's not even a try. That's vaguely a SWAT at diplomacy, isn't it? I thought you were smarter than this. Oh, God. Well, uh, <laughs> oh, shit's getting worse. <laughs> what you doing? I like spin. Oh, I have to say it before rolling, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay. Well, then I missed. Okay. What were you trying to do? I was trying to hit his uh, feet. Okay. With the- you, you, you just, oh, he goes, maybe you're, I thought you were smarter than that, and you're like, <laughs> And you visibly shoot off target as he goes, oh, why would you? I thought you were supposed to be smart. You would question when somebody makes fun of your intellect? Really? <sighs> I'm hitting him again. Soft I would spot, like to spend huh? karma. Okay. Sixty-eight on the roll, except this time I'm not holding back. I'm really hitting his feet. Okay. Um, I need to get me some dad. Because I should have thought about dice before I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, I do. I have that, don't I? It's underneath a pile of stuff right now. I'll get it here in just a second. All right. I could do it for you. Woohoo! What'd you roll? 68. 
Were you gonna pump? Sixty-eight. Were you gonna pump that at all? Um. Or were you good with it? Well, the problem is if I pump it, I'm killing him. No, you're not. You're still pulling your damage. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I'll pump it. I'll when pump you, it up to hundred. You pump it. Okay. Does anybody have a pencil? Uh, yeah. Zoom, baby. So, uh, okay. Hold on. You. Sh- what do you say? I was asking what his. I was asking what his agility was while he was gestalted because that determines the effect of the energy, the energy attack. Right. Okay. So, you shoot him in the foot. Take a couple toes off, I'm sure. And he falls prone behind the couch, screaming, Ow! That hurt! I really don't want to do this. Then don't! Then give me the password. Maybe! I'm going to attempt to type maybe in as the password. System unlocks. (laughs) (laughs) You guys should see Elliot's face. Air fist bump. uh, You hit your your volume. Say that again. Oh, you should see the look on Elliot's face right now. It is priceless. I'm glad we came to this understanding. Thanks. I don't have to put a beating on you now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Who do you work for? Who do you work for? You. <clears throat> Who put you in my employ? Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> you going to fire him now after he took his toes? Ferguson must really hate you. <laughs> no, we're actually good friends. From way back. Not now. In Oxford together. <laughs> I don't even know anyone who can... And he kind of stumbles up to his feet and sort of leans on the couch. He's like... Mm. Anything else, sir? You might want to... You might want to put some ice on that. You are insufferable. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and he kind of <laughs> limp, crunch, limp, crunch. Like, you can hear the crispy parts of his toe where his shoe was kind of sawed off as he sort of scrunches into the thing and rummages around the ice tray to get some ice out. I would like to um, run a diagnostic scan on the laptop to root out any and all tampering and or monitoring and or anything and I would like to spend karma so I will automatically boost that roll to 100. All righty, give me a roll. Let's see how much karma you Aren't spent. you at like 60 karma spent already? Yep. Yep. But this is makes me or breaks me. I rolled a 43. Couldn't hear you. I rolled a 43. All righty. Uh, and you need to take that to 100. 57 more karma, son, on top of the 70 now. Yeah. <sighs> Not 70. Whatever. Yeah. 60 plus the 10 you just used to say that, and then the 57 on top of that. Yeah, I've got karma. I'm cool. All yeah, right. Calm down, everybody. I'm calm. This is important. Hex, yeah, it is. Okay, there's all kinds of monitoring and listening, and like it's like, yeah, type it. You like it knows you typed in a word just a second ago, and broadcast that over Wi-Fi to some other like 14 different IPs already. Okay, but we can intercept that. Oh sure. Right. Okay. It has Apple level spyware. Yeah. On your laptop. Apple level spyware. Like you're gonna need to run Adaware or something. <laughs> <laughs> Malware bites, right? <laughs> too too bad I'm Steve Jobs and, and whatnot. Spybot search and destroy, okay. something like that. Does that mean you're dead? No, 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 no. McAfee, it'll take care of it. Oh God, <laughs> yeah, but it'll install those six other programs that you'll never get rid of. That's the problem. Well, well, that's like, cool. That's cool. I got safe mode. What about cool. Kaspersky? Safe mode. Safe mode. Well, what about and Kaspersky? And Norton has a backup. There's the Russian antivirus. Huh. We'll yeah. take care of you. Yeah. I, by my calculations on in-game time, I literally have. Pardon me. I mean, I have to cleanse this stuff out and then hit X and then validate the, the, the stuff I put in place is already still in and execute the takeover. I will have to do that like now. 
by my calculations on in-game time. I'm not sure. Correct. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Give me three rolls. <gasps> Got to be green on all of them. <clears throat> and it better be Cinnabon. Karma, karma everywhere. I would like to spend karma on all three rolls. What's your power level? I can tell you what color they are pretty quick. First roll. Eighty-three. Okay. Uh, God, I gotta record. Oh, I'm just taking two hundred. Second roll. Do oh no. Do you have a ten? Uh, what is that? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. What? What's your power level? I need to know that before. You oh, what am I rolling against? I'm for shift Int- y for intuition. Reasons. Yeah. Uh, uh, reason or inter- uh, reason feed? I'm sorry. Right, reason's a hundred, and I'm shift Y. I have two column shifts on reason feed. Correct. So he's at shift Y. Wow, I, that's not listed here. Uh, I've got one hundred, one fifty, two hundred, five hundred. I, I broke um, the app twice. It's the second shift. Oh. Yep. Two hundred. So that that makes it uh, two hundred. And you rolled a thirty-two. Yep. Yep. Green. And third roll. Nope. You um, you're you're moving through. You swath through a, th- a list of it. You swath through another, and your boom laptop goes dead. Lights go out. No power in the building. You didn't pay the bill. Oh, well, would have had battery power. You didn't yeah. pay the battery power bill. Laptop has a battery, doesn't? No. Yeah. Okay. Laptop is dead. <clears throat> like, Infiltration. Like brick. <laughs> You've been EMP'd, bruh. They're coming. The entire city is dark. As you look out, as you're like, what in the... The entire city is dark. No street lights. No regular lights. And that'll do us tonight for Gaming with Scott. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for listening, and we'll see you real soon. And that's it tonight for us on the Gaming with Scott podcast. You can always send us an email at gamingwscott at gmail.com or catch us on Twitter. Josh Elliott is at Asmoday369. Dan is at Malkware. Josh Jackson is at ActionJack853. And Rico is R1CO. Me, Scott T, at Gaming W Scott. This is a Southgate Media production. Remember, be the superhero you always wanted to see in the world. And as always, you will be hearing from us real soon.